Guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what sorted transformation in Informatica. So, with the help of this sorted transformation, we can sort the data. And we can sort the data according to ascending order or descending order with given sort key. And uh, you can here use the case sensitive sorting and a specified whether output is strict string. So, we can use the strings with the sorted transformation. And our sorted transformation is active transformation. So when you are using uh, this string, uh, then uh, this will change the number of rows through by processing octets or uh, sorted transformation. So let's uh, see uh, here example of this uh, sorted transformation and with all these properties. So first uh, going to create a uh, new mapping. So let's give here the name m underscore sorter. So this the mapping name and they are going to use the flat file. So when you are using sorted transformation, I highly recommend you, you should use the flat file. Okay, so let's use this flat file. So first going to show the record inside this flat file. Let's click on this triple dot and here. So flat file is so CSV tab. Let's click on this open and open here you can see this is the record inside there and the name lock this all so this here or uh, you can see 10 is so uh, 16 is the last position and this is the random order so going to make this tpt number in ascending order so here let's so uh, close and now here is the sorted transformation take this and let's so uh, select this all and uh, here so double click on this solid transformation, go to port there. So here you can see key uh, given there. So you can uh, check that. So when you check automatically direction that come ascending, you can make that descending also, uh, order according to your requirement. So here let's uh, click on this apply. Okay. And they're going to take the target table. The name is Tommy and let's take this all and uh, select this all and stabilize the link between these two. Control S to save this uh, mapping is uh, valid. Let's go on this workflow manager. So there after uh, this workflow manager that's opened, let's take the uh, session there and here this is the mapping M sorter and double click into this and here let's go on this mapping and first here let's uh, or copy the location of this file. So file location going to copy and uh, now double click on this uh, session and uh, this and you need to give uh, the location of this source file directory. So let's uh, remove this all and give or uh, paste this location. So this location dpt flat file csv or uh, extension is there so the next is let's go on this dummy here this connection that's fine let's change to normal and there if uh, uh, any previous record is there so with the help of this or uh, taking this will delete the previous truncate the previous record and now uh, session run that's load the new record so let's stabilize the link between these two and now uh, let's uh, start the task. So here you can see this succeeded. Let's go there and right click the, uh, this and preview data. Uh, this come from uh, target is come from HR. Let's skip HR. Now you can see here this uh, 60 uh, it was in last position and after processing the sorted transformation this uh, changed the location. So 60 that's come there. Okay. So 16 that's come there. Now let's uh, close that and thereafter the next is uh, let's uh, check the this uh, port and here you can use the multiple uh, port uh, for sorting. You can use your DPT number DDM. So these two are combined according to combine this sort the data according to ascending order. So with multiple dot you can do the sorting. Okay. So let's uh, check about the properties. So first here, sorted trans sorted cache size. So when I click this, 
So here you can see the maximum amount of memory that can be used to solder transformation. So here, if I go on this, and let's uh, right click there, then go on this get uh, session log, and if I scroll down, here you can see, uh, this 9 to processed and this 3 to 4 input bytes, or uh, this memory size that's taken uh, when this processing the solder transformation. Okay. So, solid transformation, this take the memory. And the next is, let's uh, uh, see here case sensitive. So, now for case sensitive, going to uncheck this one and making the DPT number on this ascending order. So, here this selected case sensitive. So, indicate if the comparison between a salt or to be case sensitive. So, let's uh, apply OK. And now uh, save that and uh, let's uh, start the session. So this uh, running this succeeded. Now check the output data into the target and let's go on this preview data here, give the password. So case sensitive that's selected so that here higher or upper later that's come first and lower later that's go to the next or in the last position. So the same with uh, this uh, here, this column. So sort uh, I apply this uh, uh, there, and here you can see the same thing with uh, this uh, call theory, call theory answer. Now uh, let's uh, take the properties and making this uh, on check. Okay, so let's see what exactly happening after doing this one. So let's uh, uh, start the save, save mapping and start the task. Now you can see there, this uh, succeeded and let's go on there, our uh, dummy and to uh, here. You can see preview data and let's skip the video big. So here you can see, uh, when uncheck that one, then uh, this here, uh, this sorting uh, according without using uh, opponent lower. So here according that's come there, then HR, then this treated as the same, okay. So that uh, capital HR, then uh, lower HR, that's come there. Then uh, this uh, sorting according to given their operation, this uh, sales sales and here. So uh, this sales and uh, this sales, okay. Uh, both are same and here you can see this is 13, that's 90. So that uh, 13, that's come first. And the same with research, the same is 20, that's come first. So that, that's given the 20 and all signs so on checking go when you uncheck this so uh, or case sensitive so this uh, sorting the or uh, record without any comparison of upper and lower so first to uh, that so uh, uh, load the data of upper then go to the lower so this that's fine there and our uh, distinct properties okay so next is going to uh, here discuss about the distinct properties so here you can see when i go on this sort so let's open the file here you can see this 60 hr denver and this 60 hr denver okay so uh, here you can see uh, both are same so both are same so here i want to display only the unique record so first here So first, uh, this going to uncheck, uh, making this distinct. So indicate if a uh, distinct record of the output. So this will change the number of rows. Let's uh, save that. And now, I start the session. So this completed there. And uh, here, preview. Let's give the PW password. Here you can see this here, uh, uh, 16 uh, small HR that's removed. So incoming rows total uh, is uh, here. Let's uh, go on this session. And uh, uh, this is the session. And here. So when I scroll down, then you can see. 
So here this is now. So uh, this requested it and applied it. So uh, when I go on this uh, source there, source files, preview data, and open. Now if you count this here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So total number of source rows, uh, that's 9. And after applying the solid transformation, this loaded only 8. So that here, according to active transformation, uh, this uh, uh, here, with the help of sorted transformation is active transformation because it removes the duplicates from the key cons consecutively change the number of rows. So here this was it was here or nine but after applying the sorted transformation that uh, changed to the eight and it record that sorted into the target. So that here sorted transformation is active transformation. And sorted transformation is connected transformation because this is connected with the next transformation this is our target and previous transformation so that this is a connected transformation and now the next is let's see another properties uh, tracing uh, level i will discuss in a uh, separate video and null treated low so when you check this null treated so null value or treated lower so when that null is uh, in the uh, in the columns, okay. So this, so uh, when you uh, check that, then or uh, this will uh, treat as the low, or or uh, as if you don't check that, then that's so uh, or uh, treat as a higher. So let's uh, understand this. Uh, this. So first here. Uh, <coughs> so first uh, let's uh, uncheck this one. For this one, going to use a uh, separate. Uh, or transformation so let's create here m new sorry creating new mapping m underscore sorter underscore null so going to take their emp emp and now emp because if you go on this preview click on this triple dot here selecting the files the files name is emp and click on this open so here you can see this is a commission it's not visible but there is the null inside there so what i'm trying to do so first here this is date time and let's so okay go one more time to preview data click on this open so here you can see this is so uh, dd mm yy is there this format is there so first we need to click on this or uh, this here properties here we need to specify uh, or else this will give the error td mm yy this format you need to keep so that's so uh, date time that's what that has done and then after let's take the sorted transformation so solid transformation, select this all and now double click there. So here uh, going to sort the rows. So this here commission has uh, uh, this uh, and this making on this ascending order. So let's click on this apply and or this terms without using their null treated as a low. So not checking this part and click or their this dummy and uh, let's uh, save that. And then after the next stage, first go, going to copy this file location. So file location, let's uh, close this and thereafter close this one and thereafter let's uh, create new session. And here sorted null, this is our mapping. 
or oh, let's double click there go to the mapping and here sq so we need to uh, give the file location so the file name emp csv and dummy let's use there so connection hr that's fine and then after let's truncate apply and ok then or the next is let's use the link task and stabilize the link control s to save right click there click on this start task so now that's come there let's go on this target preview data and here let's give the hr so now you can see uh, so here you can see this all uh, sorting apply on this call 7 and now you can see numeric value that's treated the high okay this high that's treated and null in the last position so null is the last position so when you here go on this sorted transformation if you check this properties so null value treated low so low value that means so this null that's come first and numeric value that's go on this or last or the next so when you check that so let's click on this apply or uh, save that and now let's so uh, start the task and here you can see this running and now let's so uh, check the dummy or uh, and give the password here you can see this when i check that then null treated as the low so that means null that's come for first and then here this other value that's go to the last okay so this is the important properties if you want to make that null first or on the up position then you can use this null treated as the low okay so this is all important properties of this so uh, sorted transformation that i discussed or uh, casi case sensitive distinct and null treated as the low so for this one tracing level and transformation scope this i will make the separate video there for because this so uh, tracing level and input this properties apply in most of the sort transformation so this is how we can use the sorted transformation in Informatica Power Center. So when a source is file, flat file, I highly recommend you use it, use sorted transformation. And if the uh, source is uh, relational table, then you can uh, get this uh, uh, their number of sort properties. So for uh, relational tables this enable there so you can better use their number of sort ports so this enhance the mapping performance so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you